In this video, I would like to show you an unknown but super easy way to collect fat food. And I'm sure 99% of you never heard about this trick. So stay tuned if you want to learn something new. Hello YouTube, welcome back to the first video after my social media break. Today I will show you an unknown technique how you can collect fat wood which you can use as fire start. The advantage of this method is that the fat wood we are looking for is direct under the surface of the wood. And that's why we don't need big tools like a machete, like an axe, like a saw, like a shovel to dig out the roots and stuff like this. All we need is a little knife with a sharp spine. The spots where we can collect this fat wood are stumps from uh, resinous conifers like this, like this, or like this. The disadvantage of this technique is that you have to find a stump from a felled uh, pine or a felled spruce or not a conifer with resin. And that you find such a stump, the chance is much bigger if you are near a civilized area where a ranger or another person fell trees. And somewhere in the mountains of Canada, I don't know, uh, probably the chance that you find a stump from a, from a tree which was felled by a chainsaw is not that big. Another fact is that you can't harvest big chunks of fat wood with this technique. <laughs> what you get are some shavings of fat wood, but this is still enough to ignite the fire. The most common way to harvest fat wood is, in my opinion, to looking for super old rotten spruce or pine trunks. And sometimes they have super hard resin rich spots. But to find them is often not easy because you have to dig out these, these trunks and you have to split them and you have to saw them and you need often big tools. But there you have the chance to find a big chunk of fat wood in the super quality. The second well-known method is to soft broken side branches from a pine. To be honest, I like this technique too. And here in my area, you have a big chance to find fat wood if you know these two methods. Nevertheless, it is for sure super valuable if you know an additional other technique where you can get fat wood if you just wear a knife. The technique I want to show you now increases your chance enormous that you can find fat wood, at least in my area, because it's super easy to find a stump from a pine or from a spruce. I don't know the situation in your area, but nevertheless put this technique in your mental toolbox. For this technique, the flat cut surface plays a crucial role. And doesn't matter if the tree was felt one year or 15 years ago. Can you see this bright ring in the sap wood layer of the stump? So these bright parts are resinous. Often you can see this resin ring much better on a fresh felt tree. So here you can see the resin ring from a fresh felt healthy spruce. And this ring is in the sap wood layer. So here you can see the resin ring from a, a bigger spruce. And now I try to get some fat wood. So. 
here's another spruce where you can see the resin ring. Can you see that? This is the resin ring. So, here's the wood. And by the way, if you want to learn how you can achieve the 5% extra sharpness on the 90 degree spine of your knife, please watch this video. Resinous trees have a network of resin channels in their wood. As long as the tree can absorb enough water from the ground, this resin is under pressure. That's why as soon a resin channel gets damaged, a resin pushed out of the broken channel. When a resinous tree is felled with a saw, a healthy pine or a healthy spruce, press the resin out of the opened resin channels to seal the cut surface to protect the tree from pathogens. And as you could see, it's obvious that the most of these resin channels are in the sapwood layer. So now let's try out at another spot. Here you can see this, uh, this resin ring a little bit. So the squeezed out resin built this resin ring on the sapwood layer. Mm -hmm. This is resin. So I remove a bit of fat wood. Over the time the squeezed out the resin on the cut surface and the resin in the channels a few millimeters below the cut surface dried out, get hard and bonds to the wood like varnish. This process needs a few months. Sometimes on an old stump you can't see the resin ring because the resin ring is covered with a dirt layer. But if you are sure that this is a trunk from a pine or from a spruce, try it out. After removing the top layer you can quick see if there is resin rich wood behind or not. And remember in the last days we had a lot of rain. So this is really wet, really wet. And the fat wood under this dirty layer can be wet because this uh, fat wood is waterproof so the water can't go through this fat wood layer. And that's why it's always dry some tenth millimeter under the cut surface. Here. These shavings are super dry. The strange thing is that the fat wood layer is only two or three millimeters. The wood below is not resinous. <laughs> I don't know, maybe this resin is flow back to the roots. Or I don't know, I don't know. If you know more, please let me know in the comment section below. So my friends, this was the first video after my social media break. A short one, but I hope a good one. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next Friday. Ciao.